Hey guys, happy what Wednesday. So I'm going to let one of our other student workers take it away from here with uh, our what question this week. So I really hope you enjoy the information that Kendall has to offer and I will see you back here at the end. Hey y'all, today's What Wednesday video is on Thalaviopsis. So what is Thalaviopsis? Well, it is a stem and root rot caused by the fungus Thalaviopsis basicola. It's also known as black rot. Uh, this fungus usually infects pansies, vinca, and petunias, and it's spread through splashing of water as well as soil. It can also be spread through insect vectors, which include fungus gnats and shore flies. Now, Thalaviopsis favors alkaline soil between 5 and 8.5 pH, as well as soil temperatures between 55 and 70 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm about to show you some pictures of symptoms of Thalaviopsis, so get excited. The symptoms of Thalaviopsis include yellowing of lower foliage, defoliation, stunting or wilting, and blackening of roots, which you can see in this picture. The blackening of roots is usually in longitudinal sections, which uh, you can see in the roots of a pansy. As you see in this picture, again there is dis discoloration of the pansy root, and this is taken through a dissecting microscope. The only sure way to know if it's the Laviopsis on your plant is to see the chlamydospores, which are shown in this picture. The chlamydospores are darkly pigmented and usually come in chains of two to eight. We took this picture using a compound microscope. So now that we've learned all about Thalaviopsis, you might be wondering, how do I prevent my plants from getting it? Well, there are a few preventative measures you could take, which include keeping the growing media around a pH of 5.5, as well as not reusing pots and plug trays. And if you do, you have to sterilize them thoroughly, especially if they've already had an infected plant growing in them. Uh, also be sure to discard of infected plant material and to choose less susceptible cultivars to grow. Thank you so much, Kendall, for all that great information on the Laviopsis. So once you get that word down, I dare you to say it five times fast, videotape yourself, and then post it on our page because it would be really cool to get some feedback from you guys on that. Um, but aside from that, Kendall kind of hinted around to this, but um, she didn't want to bring the bad news in its entirety. So I'm here. So I'll do it for you guys. Um, but once your plant does get infected with the Laviopsis, um, there's no hope for it. You will have to get rid of it. Um, and especially if you're in greenhouse situations and the Laviopsis creeps in and it gets established, it is very hard to eradicate. So I encourage y'all to um, just make sure that you keep your plants healthy and happy. So I will see you back here next week. Bye.